Who are you people? Where am I? My name is Marv. I think you already know about us as you were watching us. We know you are sky people. Our legends say you will come and save us from the sky sword. Sky sword? I don't know what that means. You are still sick. Please just rest. We will contact your people and they will take you when you are strong enough. Here it is. This is a fragment of a spaceship's hull that I dug up out of the ground. There is too little information to find out whose. We need to find our missing officer. That is our priority. We will scout the area. Be careful. Use phasers to defend yourselves. Welcome Sky Person. Do not be afraid. We have your missing person. He was injured by a stinging creature. We are treating him. Please come see him. You are very gracious. I thank you for your help. How are you feeling Greg? It looks like we owe these people a debt of gratitude. They have been wonderful to me. My head is pounding badly. Can you take me to the ship? Unfortunately the ship has left orbit, and we don't know when they will be back. Do you feel well enough to come with me? I could use something for my head, but I am okay. I will thank my hosts. We should return to the camp. The ship beamed down shelters. We are in position. The object is huge. Phasers set to wide field. Maximum power. Captain, alien vessel closing at high warp, faster than we can go. They are on an attack vector. Battle stations. Try to contact them. Phasers ineffective. They are going too fast, heading back at our flank again. Shields down to 80%. Minor damage to port nacelle. Full spread of photon torpedoes. Target the asteroid. Captain that will shatter the object into many fragments. Exactly. Timing is everything. Wait until he is 6 seconds away and then fire a full spread. He hit the fragments. Hull breaches, shields are down, weapons offline. Come officer, have a boarding party go there and rescue survivors. Captain James T. Kirk of the Enterprise, eat your heart out. Have some small fragments beamed aboard for analysis. Navigator, use the phasers to vaporize any large fragments, then set a course back to the planet. 
I have a feeling that our people are in danger. Who are you? I am a member of the Federation. Let me go. Silence human. We will ask the questions. Why are you here? We are here on a science mission, not to interfere with you. You will find out soon, human. By now our ship has destroyed yours. The Nark Empire will destroy your Federation. I am reading several reptilian signatures with my tricorder, northeast. There is also on human signature, female. Our missing officer. Everyone grab phases. Set on kill. We don't know what we are dealing with other than they are hostile.
free our officer from that cell. Look at all these dead lizards. It is so great to see you. What's the status of the ship? We still have some work to do. The ship is in good shape. Their ship was destroyed. We still don't know who they were or why we were attacked. I think I can answer that. One of the guards told me about them. They call themselves the Narcs. They are nomadic, moving from system to system and taking relics to sell them. That means that they found more than the geoglyphs. We will have to look around. Maybe that cave where we found their devices. This is not my specialty, but there are definitely artifacts here. We can start digging them up. I will get a copy of this writing. Maybe we can learn something. So what did we find out about the strange lines? Unlike the Nazca lines on Earth, they use artificial materials and were built by an unknown species. Who then are the natives? Any ideas? We don't believe that they are natives, Captain. It appears that they are descended from humanoids whose ship exploded in the atmosphere. They transported down beforehand. Then why are they so primitive? Shouldn't they have some technology? That is the paradox of civilization. A technological civilization if it falls cannot be rebuilt easily. They had to turn to basic survival instincts just to survive. They appear to have adapted well to this planet. What was that prophecy all about? that a sky sword would menace the planet, and that the gods would stop it. It was not left by these people, but someone else. So it says. Were the lines done by the same people as the Nazca lines? If you are asking my opinion, I would say it is possible, but the Nazca lines remain a mystery to this day. What are you thinking about, Marv? The sky gods. Yes I am, though they are not gods but people like us. I wonder what their world is like. They live among the stars in some kind of home that moves through the sky. Rock, do you think we will ever join them in the sky? I am sure we will, Missy, but we have to grow for a long time before that. Missy, let me tell you a story. This is what our legends say. We came from the sky in a home that moved through the sky like theirs does. Our ancestors were bad people and tried to take over but they ruined everything in the home and escaped to here. Then why did nobody come looking for us? According to our legends, they did and visited but did not take our ancestors back with them. Instead, they punished them by leaving them here. We came from those bad people. Can something good come from something bad? Sometimes it does Missy. Maybe the struggle to survive can change things for the better. We will join them in the stars someday, but we need to grow first. Until then, this visit from the sky people may also be a part of our legends. We won't forget them. <laughs>